I'd always wanted to be a paratrooper, and so I decided I'd uh, join the Army, get the paratroopers, and see the world. And then I served in the detachment, the military intelligence detachment for the 82nd Airborne. In 1964, uh, Vietnam was picking up. There was lots of activity, uh, and they decided to form an intelligence unit uh, for the type of uh, analysis that we did uh, to go to Vietnam to be advisors. The intelligence work that we did was looking for areas that could be bombed with the belief that we could win this war uh, without committing a lot of ground troops. That didn't turn out to be that successful. In 65, the country was still very supportive of the war. It wasn't at the time when um, the large demonstrations came about. As a veteran, I didn't get a feel that there were people, you know, in an accusatory fashion, getting in my face about what did you do or why did you do it. You know, I came back and things evolved. One of the reasons why that the war became so controversial was we had the draft. Everybody served. And when you have that, a number of people spread all over the country and everybody's going to go to it, it puts into really sharp focus why are we in this war and what are we gaining out of it and what is it doing to us as a country, but also what is it doing to the country we're in? And so the infallibility of America certainly came into question. Well, my heart goes out to the people who then went through some of the toughest battles in the war. I was very fortunate. I was not uh, involved in heavy combat. The people that did, and then coming back and then being accused of not being a good American when they, were, they gave limbs and friends and almost probably their own lives, to have that accusation is uh, just heartbreaking. When the wall of the Vietnam Memorial, when it came out, it was very controversial. And because it didn't have the traditional statues, but it was just a bold and dramatic black gash across a very low profile, but a black gash that was so powerful and strong. And it was strong to the veterans who could actually go up there and touch the names of people that they knew or the families of a son or father or relative that was there. Oh, I think it was a magnificent expression of physically seeing the sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice that so many people made. And as a remarkably bold statement about what the consequences of war is.